Hi, my name is David Morgan. I'm a product coordinator for the RNLI's Community Safety Department. We're here at Scuba Fest 2017 to try and raise a little bit of awareness for diver health and to raise awareness of the RNLI Diver Sea Survival course. Um, the first part is the health campaign. So we have these Wellpoint Health kiosks and we have three of these on hire at the moment and we're sending them around the country trying to get people to have as, uh, as go on them as much as they can. They're completely free to use and each test takes about five to ten minutes and we send them to all the prominent dive centers and dive stores and events around the country that we can. Um, if you have a dive store and center and you would be interested in hosting one for us, then by all means we'll be looking to pencil in for 2018. They are free to host and free to have a go on. Each machine takes about five to ten minutes to actually go through for each individual and they will measure your blood pressure, your body fat percentage, your body mass index, your weight, your height, and all kinds of details, including your family history and whether you smoke, drink, etc. The reason for this is that it gives you a nice little printout at the end. You can also email the results to yourself. And this will give you a heart age versus your actual age. So it's called your QR2 risk score. Uh, we're doing this so that we can try and get people to realize that maybe they're not as healthy as they think they are. And just to try and make those slight little adjustments in their life to uh, you know, make themselves a little bit healthier. The reason why we're doing this as the RNLI is the fact that between 2011 and 2015, we had 50 dive-related deaths that we were called out to around the coast of the UK and Ireland. So that's on average 10 a year, and over half of those were health-related. So we realize that it doesn't matter how many lifeboats we have or how many lifeguards we have, how fast they are, um, this is just gonna be you know, a situation where we need to prevent this rather than you know, curing it again. So that's the health campaign, and so far it's going really well, it's really successful, we've had over 2,000 individual divers have a go on it nationwide. We also have the Diver Sea Survival Course, which we've developed with the BDSG, the British Diving Safety Group, so that's with BZAC and Paddy and other prominent members, and they're now in the situation where they're actually offering the course. So BZAC are delivering it through their regional trainers, Paddy are offering it as a, um, a distinct speciality, a one-day course, and it's a really good way of teaching divers who perhaps learned abroad and then they've come back to the UK and it teaches them all about cold water diving, all the equipment, all the safety equipment, PLBs, so personal locator beacons, VHF radios, uh, means of calling for help such as you know those and the SMBs and essentially we're just trying to get people a little bit more educated on the scenarios they can do and the course obviously covers things like rip currents, tides, waves, cold water, things that are really prominent in British diving and we've had a really good uptake so far and hopefully we'll have lots of Paddy and BZAC instructors and other good agencies delivering it in the, the near future in 2017. So if you would like to find out more then we have the rnli.org forward slash dive course or we have rnli.org forward slash dive safe and those are the two dedicated websites just for our diving market. So, thanks.